Hey y'all and happy, happy Sunday. Um, sky is up finally. We're gonna make some pancakes real quick, some pumpkin pancakes. Instead of doing it waffle um, wise in the dash um, waffle maker, we're just gonna make them on the stove um, for breakfast really quick. So I have two exams I have to do today that were due last Monday, but I did an extension on them. Um, and so with that, I have to do like the written work um, and I have to like show, you know, how I got the answer. So that's gonna take a while. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to get everything done now so that way I can spend like maybe the next two hours doing one and then another two hours doing the other one. But like I said, I have to do the written work and stuff like that. So we have our box of mix from Trader Joe's. This is the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. It tells you on the back and I did a short um, on using the dash um, to do the waffles. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna just do pancakes this morning, keep it simple, keep it plain. And then, um, like I said, I need to get started on the exams. And that's really about it. I have her laundry to fold later in between, or at least after both of them are done. I am off tomorrow and Tuesday. I'm not really off, but I was just given something to cut up. Um, so that's all that I'm gonna be doing for Monday and Tuesday. I also wanna make sure I get ahead with my schoolwork because the one math class ends for, uh, Friday coming um, up. So I need to have all of that done ahead of time. So I also want iced coffee. All right, so we just need one cup of this pancake mix. We'll need two tablespoons of melted butter, three fourth cup of milk and one egg lightly beat. All right, so we got our butter melted. We're adding in that one egg that's lightly beaten after we put it in. All right, and then we have our one cup of the pancake mix. Three fourths cup of milk. Breakfast was delicious. I like them as waffles, but I especially um, love them as pancakes. Anyway, I tried to do one of my exams and um, it's locked. So of course I had to email her. Now I gotta sit and wait and possibly take that later today or um, tomorrow, which is fine because at least I'm like still on track. Um, what I did do, is I did pull out the pumpkin seeds. I was supposed to do this last weekend, um, but what's been happening is I can't get these dry to save my life. So I am leaving them out and just coming over and like maneuvering them little by little um, to make sure that they're fully dry um, for when I put them in the air fryer in a little bit. I let them dry out for a good while now. Um, I am going to put them in this container and measure out two cups of these. All right, so the pumpkin seeds are now officially dry. I'm going to scoop two cupfuls of the pumpkin seeds into a mixing bowl where I am going to then add two teaspoons of avocado oil, one teaspoon of garlic salt, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. these into my air fryer on 350 for 30 minutes. All right, so cooking for 30 minutes, just reminding myself to shake it every five minutes. I'm gonna put a timer up here for myself to come over and shake it. All right, so while those are going, I'm also preparing another one. Um, which is going to be cinnamon sugar. So all I need um, that from what's left over is one cup and um, 
I'm just gonna trash the rest. So I did wash this out. I only need one cup of those pumpkin seeds. For the cinnamon sugar ones, I am mixing one teaspoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of sugar. Um, I'm gonna mix these two up together. If two tablespoons of melted butter we're gonna go in and pour this in over top of our pumpkin seed i have that mixture ready and that's what's gonna go in next but i want to make sure that each of these are coated with butter so these have been nicely coated and tossed in that cinnamon and sugar mixture um, I have to wait on the other batch, which is about 15 minutes, to throw these in next. Alright, y'all. Now that I finally got the password, so it was an issue to where I didn't remember the password for um, my exam. So that's the reason why I haven't taken either one yet, and it's almost 11 o'clock. I had to go digging through my... Um, I had to go digging through my emails from Liberty to find the actual like email password. Anyways, now that I've gotten that taken care of, I am gonna go in and get one of these um, exams done right now. And then I'm just gonna take a moment to um, meal plan here for a second. Batch is out. Now I'm gonna add in the batch right here. And I'm gonna bake these for about 10 minutes. All right, so here's the first batch. I think I'm gonna try one. They're good. It's just that I'm not used to eating pumpkin seeds. The closest I came to eating pumpkin seeds lately has been the ones from Trader Joe's, which is the pumpkin spice ones. And oh my God, are these ones good? So. Finally got the password to this exam. Let me go. So these are the cinnamon sugar ones. No, they taste better. I gotta have me some of the wine cake. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I had gave up on the option of trying to meal plan. I mean, I did technically meal plan, um, but I only meal plan for a week. And with that being said, I um, thought that my grandmother needed me to take her to the grocery store, so I waited, and there's no times for pickups. Um, this afternoon, so I'm just running right up the street to Domino's to get my order, and then I'll run back home. Um, luckily, luckily it is a wonderful evening to just sit back and chill. I don't have to go to work tomorrow or Tuesday, A plus for that. Um, I really am supposed to be working from home, but with the way that that works, um, you know, I, um, was sent home with stuff to do, so I have already completed that, and I'm just gonna enjoy my Monday and Tuesday getting all of my schoolwork done. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, y'all, so um, it's roughly about 5.13. I came out because I needed to run to get, um, I needed to get rent money. When I went into the grocery store earlier, I did not get my rent money. And I just like, I like to get him out of my hair, so um, you know, it's best to just pay you on time and keep you moving along because 
He's the type of landlord that like knows that there's issues between me and the neighbor and you know doesn't try to say like hey look both of you guys are gonna live here we need to sit down have a conversation hash it out and like move along <clears throat> but I mean I feel like if I was someone's landlord you know I would do that but you know not everybody is the same I just want you know like everybody to get along and unfortunately you know with the Aquarius in me um I have just been pushed to my max with um, my neighbor that I don't even care to do that. So I am on my way home to go make something. I feel like, I feel like I am gonna make the vegan chili again. I just need something for lunch. And you know, like with all the sickness going around, last thing I wanna do is get sick. So I want something nice and like cold that I can just reheat up tomorrow. Um, but then again, you know, everything else that I bought from the grocery store is like a sandwich. <laughs> um, yeah, Chef YD. <laughs> I buy that stuff for like my kids, you know? But anyways, to home I go.